Hi, and welcome to this introductory video on Desmos.com, a free online graphing tool. This video will show you how to graph basic objects, familiarize yourself with the basic features and operations of Desmos, and it'll also show you how to save, print, and share graphs. So open up your favorite browser and go to Desmos.com. You can access Desmos through any device that can browse the web with a standard web browser like Safari, Chrome, or Firefox. There are also special Desmos apps available for both iOS and Android. For this video, we're going to focus on the web interface. Click on the Start Graphing button to get started. Although it's not necessary, it's highly recommended that you use a Desmos account, which is free, when using Desmos, since the account will let you share and save graphs with others. Click here on Sign In, then either sign in with Google or sign into your Desmos account. If you don't have a Desmos account, click here to create one. I'm going to sign in with my Google account for this video. Once you're signed in, your name will appear on the screen. Let's graph a few basic objects. We're going to do this by typing over on the left. Desmos lets you graph several different kinds of things. You can graph a single point, for instance, just by entering an ordered pair on the left. Hit Enter to create a new blank. We can graph a straight line by typing the formula of the line. Now I'm going to graph a parabola. I am getting the exponent here by hitting the caret symbol, which is above the 6, then typing 2, then hitting the right arrow to move out of the exponent. I can also get an exponent by using one of these two buttons in the keyboard area. I can graph trigonometric functions, inverse trigonometric functions, even inequalities. The screen is getting a little messy, so I'm going to delete the inequality graph by clicking the X button. And I'm going to hide the last four graphs without deleting them by clicking on the colored circles on the left. And I can always turn them back on later if I want to see them again. To see more examples, click on the expander icon at the top left. This area is also where you'll see your saved graphs once we save them later on. The plus button allows you to add different kinds of objects to the screen. Adding an expression has the same effect as hitting enter. Adding a note allows you to add a text note so you can create a series of graphs with some annotations. Adding a table allows you to enter in a table of data and then create a scatter plot from the data. You can add a folder to collect together a series of graphs and notes, or you can even add an image. Look over to the right side of the screen for the wrench symbol. This allows you to adjust whether you are using a rectangular or polar grid. You can also specify which parts of the X and Y axis are showing, as well as add custom labels to the graph, and switch from radian mode to degree mode for trigonometric computations. To zoom in and out, use the plus and minus keys, or just scroll with your mouse. Click the Home button to return to the default zoom level. Finally, you can print your graph, or you can share your graph by clicking here, and then copying and pasting the link to send to other people in an email or post it to a discussion board. You can also share via email, or grab the embed code, or create a shareable image of your graph. The Help button here has links to tours, tutorials, the complete user guide, and the Help Center. There's much more to explore with Desmos, but now you know the basics. Thanks for watching.